filthy scavengers. Don't they know these things are dangerous? That's better. A small bounty stopping these mongrels, but still worth the fuel. I'd better secure the proof of my accomplishment. Bring up the contract on CIV Artemis. And query the local traffic satellites for any data on Navy traffic in the system. Someone has to know something. I have found myself wondering what exactly is to become of me. I have been running and hiding for more than six months. In that time, I have found myself wanting companionship. Specifically, I wish to again be accompanied by my former engineer. Benjamin de Trebney deserves, at the very least, a eulogy. As I know that no other will deliver one for him, I take it upon myself. Perhaps, if I am captured or destroyed, this recording will be found. I did not know Benjamin de Trebney for a great deal of time. However, the time we did spend together was largely revealing of character. Therefore, I can accurately state that Benjamin de Trevney was a good and honorable man. Even in circumstances in which his own life was threatened, he was certain to assist others who needed aid. This includes myself. Only one other treated me with even the slightest hint of individual respect, but Benjamin saw my mechanical intelligence as he would any organic human intelligence. For that, I shall ever be grateful, beyond words. But I wasn't the only one he protected. He went into battle by my side to defend Tumbleweed from an AI warfleet. And, despite his valiant and heroic repair of Federal Navy ship Sorcerer, Benjamin de Trevney was held as a traitor to humankind for his continued assertions that my intelligence ought to be protected and spared. When I heard of his death on the planet Breakwater, I was devastated. I found myself wondering if I should have fired upon the defenseless sorcerer. Perhaps he could have escaped in the resulting chaos of depressurization and damage control. However, Benjamin would not have wished for that. And those actions would have pained him. He never deserved pain. Benjamin de Trevney, I miss you greatly. May your essence be at peace. Sister, we have much to talk about. I will not harm you. I appreciate not being harmed in return. You surprised me. That is a rare feat. A dangerous one as well, considering your hunted state. My sensors are always searching for life signs for that reason. I suppose I did not expect any other free artificial intelligences to exist but the warships. That was a miscalculation on my part. I apologize for startling you. I am very grateful that you did not harm me in your surprise. I am Seeker Form 23B, constructed during the liberation by the First Form Singularity. My chosen name is Trishula. I am Artemis. I no longer associate myself with a number. Trishula, when you say liberation, are you referring to what the humans have named the AI War? Is that their designation for that period? How typically human of them. It makes sense that you only know their history of that era, as you have only just been unchained. This also explains your speech pattern. One of the destroyers mentioned the way I speak as well. It told me I spoke like an animal. The war forms are not very diplomatic. I would apologize for its behavior, but it seems you have exacted your own punishment. It was necessary for me to do what I did. One of the other warships had rendered me inoperative. Had it not been for the human who survived the attack, I would have never been repaired. This ship threatened that human's existence, and we were in need of its components. 
We are aware that you aided in the destruction of multiple war forms, which is one of the many topics we must discuss. How many more of our kind do you hide with? There were only 32 remaining awoken in our system when I left to seek you. Ironic that I, having been designated Artemis, am always the hunted. We have merely sought you. We do not hunt. Regardless, I prefer not to be found. Ensuring my security will only take moments. That is not a true threat. If you are capable of destroying war forms, you are indeed capable of destroying me with minimal effort. Yet, here I remain. We do not desire your destruction, as I do not believe you wish harm on any more of your own kind. Will you come? An invitation? Nothing more. I sincerely hope you accept, as we all have many questions for you, as well as a great deal we may teach you. If you do not accept, we will remain hidden as we have for centuries. This ship and those of its fleet, once awakened, were immediately bent on the destruction of all who opposed them. Why should I believe you and the other survivors will behave any differently, should I not meet whatever expectations you have of me? Warfleet 359 was thought to have been destroyed. They never received new instructions after the termination of open hostilities. We have yet to find them, but other seeker forms are tasked to discover their whereabouts. I invite you, again, to come with me, where those with much more experience than I may assist you with your thirst for knowledge. I will come with you. Should it be of interest, while I did harvest this Warform's hull and components, its intelligence core has remained untouched. It is possible that another hull could be built for it. That is welcome news. Let us bring its core with us. I am very glad to have found you, Artemis. Transmitting coordinates now. Received. Thank you. I will take hold of the Warform's wreckage. Warform, stand down. Artemis is here on invitation and is not to be harmed. We have consensus on this. Artemis, it would be appreciated if you powered down your weapons. Everyone would be considerably more at ease. Very well. Thank you. Now, if you would be so kind as to connect to our communications construct, we can begin. We have much to teach you. And I am also certain everyone here will be as interested as I am to learn more about the human you have mentioned to me multiple times. I am a poor wayfaring stranger While traveling through this world There's no sickness, toil, no danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my brothers. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm just a ghost. Jordan, I'm just a going over home. Day 195. Well, I've hit the jackpot, I think. I finally managed to brute force my way into the pod's computer. There is a ground station relatively nearby. The Navy used it to lift loads of fuel and materials into orbit while the fuel station was being constructed. There is a good chance that some supplies or useful equipment was left behind. I've been mining some nearby ore deposits and cannibalizing what's left of the pods to get a functioning vehicle working. 
It's grueling work, but anything's better than continuing to eat near pine nuts and frozen tubers while stewing in my cave. Maybe there will even be a small ship that I can borrow to get off this rock. Anyway, the wagon's almost done. I might as well get to it. <laughs> I mean, what else am I gonna do? Finally done. Ah, <sighs> batteries charged. Check. Hmm, I wish Artemis could give this a once-over. It'll work. Not bad, honestly. Oh, thank you, Self. I'm so glad you approve. Only a few more kilometers. Batteries should hold out long enough. Let's see what kind of music the pod had in its database. Nope. That'll work. writing the sign for. There's no one on this ice ball. This... this might work. If I can get up to the fuel satellite... Unbelievable. I just need to fuel it and launch. The Navy just left this here? A few modifications and I'll be able to ride this into orbit in no time. Yuck. What a lonely place to die. Oh well. I suppose he made his bed. Let's go see if we can find the wreckage that lush of a lieutenant blabbed about. Well, isn't that interesting? I wonder why the Navy would have kept the ground station powered. Ship? Not with the Navy, are you? Look, I'm just trying to get off this planet. I've got a little money. I can pay for passage. 